This is lucky or unlucky, it's like my daughter, and the lucky is spelled L-U-G-A-H-E-E, -E, and it's the Manx word for mice, so it's mice are unlucky. So, my daughter recently bought a new house, it's really filled her with delight. In autumn there's a big problem though, it's a noise that she hears in the night. There's knocking and scratching and banging, each night tucked up in her bed. Something's got great big clogs on, and it's clumping around overhead. Then she comes running to daddy, as all of today's children do. Dad, have you got any mouse traps? You'll probably need quite a few. So I looked around in my garage, like most, there's no room for a car. A poor cat couldn't find all his kittens. Lucky, I didn't have to look far. The decision then that was pending was what should we use for the bait? We need to have good inducements to tempt Mickey into his fate. There's cheese, which according to cartoons, is what all meeses will try. Sweets as well, and there's chocolate, but lots of them things are too dry. You need something that's sticky will not fall off with a touch. Reaching up through the loft ladder from a wobbly ladder is too much. The trap it has to be at the moment. When a sniff, it will surely snap. One more then for his maker, and another notch carved on the trap. We went for peanut butter. It's claggy and has a good scent. Wobbly ladder supported, trap set, with every intent. To end one creature's existence, it's one less clod-hopping mouse. A good night's sleep in the offing, and one much quieter house. I should have mentioned a bargain, for each mouse she'd buy me a beer. So I'm attending each morning, checking for signs they're still here. The pint is a great big incentive, and I think I've struck a good deal. But I'd say it's getting much harder to catch more out in the field.